In this video today, I'm gonna to go through all my different sources of income as a DJ. Now, this video isn't to brag because I'm not actually gonna put the actual figures in here because that's a bit personal, but this is a video to help you get motivated to try and think like what different sources of income that you can make. Like right just before the pandemic, I wanted to be a full-time DJ. I wanted to DJ four or five times a week and just have my income solely come in from DJing. But when the pandemic hit, all of us DJs got our work taken away from us. So if I would have done that and made that decision, I would have literally been struggling because I've got a house to pay for i've got a mortgage i've got cars to pay for like if i had all that stuff to pay for and then the pandemic hit i'd be struggling so bad so it made me realize that i didn't want to just have one stream of income coming in so i decided to start figuring different ways how i can make some income so this video is to help motivate you and hopefully after this video you can start writing down some notes and be like you know what i can make money this way or this way like i'm going to try and give you some inspiration in this video so my first income source is obviously djing so i get money from obviously doing all my dj gigs Nowadays, I DJ twice a week. So I DJ on a Wednesday and I DJ on a Saturday. Both of them are my residencies. Now, DJ bookings do come up during the week. I might do a booking on a Tuesday, Thursday, a Friday. So the spontaneous bookings do normally come in on a Friday. Like I keep my Fridays free to do other things. Say for example, I had a residency on a Friday and a booking came in from like another town. I wouldn't be able to do it because I have my residency. So I keep my Friday free. Now on that Friday, I could do a club booking. I can do a birthday party. I can do a private event. I can do, I can do anything. So from that, I can even make some more money. So that's my first source of income. And it's probably going to be one of your main sources of income as well. Now, my second source of income is my full-time day job. Now, I know a lot of you watching are going to be bedroom DJs, beginner DJs, or like intermediate DJs. And you're probably not going to be working full-time DJing just yet. So you're probably going to have a day job. Now, I have a day job. I work as a software engineer. And the majority of my money that I earn comes from that. So I use that to pay my bills, my house, and stuff like that. So that's another source of income I have. The way I got into software engineering was I done IT in college and then there was two paths to kind of go down there's either go down the IT hardware path or go down the IT software path and I took the software path but I didn't know too much about it like there were people in my college class that knew how to write code and I was like how do you do this so I taught myself how to learn code then I landed myself a job I got there I trained myself up they trained me up as well and then I was doing the job there then I thought you know what it's time to move on so then I moved on to another job which is my current job now so I work as a software engineer I do that literally Monday to Friday and I DJ on the side as well like I literally used to be like a full-time DJ and a full-time daytime worker as well like I used to DJ like four or five times a week and work full-time as well so you can imagine how tired I was during these weeks but what I've done now is actually scaled back because like I said I don't want to become a full-time DJ just yet like if someone wants to pay me ten thousand pound for an hour set then yeah you know what I'll quit my full-time job today and do it but the way my life is right now I can't risk leaving in my day job just yet and you're all probably thinking the same thing as well so what i've done now is i've cut back so i dj twice a week and i work full-time as well now djing and working full-time a lot of people i feel like a lot of people struggle with it like some people say to me how do you dj and work full-time but you gotta think like most djs will dj friday and saturday so you'll work monday to friday and then you'll dj friday and you'll dj saturday and then you have sunday off and then you go back to work again like i actually don't think it's that hard it's only hard when you do like a tuesday night booking and you gotta wake up at 8 a.m for work like I used to do that all the time. And when I was at work, I used to literally be a zombie. So um, I had to cut that back a little bit because I started to think like, I don't want to lose my full-time job. So why am I stressing myself out and struggling at work, being tired for something that I don't really want? Like if I do these Tuesday bookings, Thursday bookings, as well as my Wednesday and Saturday, I might as well be a full-time DJ. And like I said, I don't want to be that. I don't want to get to that stage just yet. So I'm actually happy DJing twice a week. And you might be as well. Like, don't feel pressured to be a full-time DJ, people. If you can handle both at the same time, do it. Like, as a brand new DJ, actually, when you first start, get all the bookings you can. Do the Tuesday bookings, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do all that. And then what's going to happen is you're going to figure out what bookings you don't want to do. Because I got to a point where I was doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I was literally killing myself. So I realized that I didn't need the Tuesday. I didn't need the Thursday day and I didn't need the Friday every week so now I'm at two bookings a week and I'm happy you gotta think about your health as well like DJing five times a week and working full-time five times a week is hard and it could literally ruin your health so I've taken a step back I've started to focus on being happy started focusing on my family and started to focus on different ventures and what that's allowed me to do is just do the bookings that I want to do I guarantee you guys that work like four or five times a week yeah you're doing sets that you don't want to do you'll go there and it won't be busy or you'll 
you'll go there and you'll play music you don't want to play like me my two sets that i do a week now i love doing them like i'm playing the music that i want i'm playing to big crowds and i'm happy right i wasn't happy when i was djing in front of no one i wasn't happy when i was djing in front of five people because i was going to work the next day tired from a booking that didn't progress my dj career it was only filling up my pocket do you know what i mean and i know a lot of djs will just work for money but i don't like doing that because when i do a booking that i don't like doing it makes me feel like i hate djing like i'll come away from the book and i'm like oh DJing is rubbish, man. So what I want to do is just have a good mental mind and be like, you know what? I want to do two sets a week. The two sets that I do, I'm happy with. I'm happy with DJing. I'm happy doing my full-time job and I'm good, man. So yeah, um, my full-time day job is my second stream of income. Now, my third stream of income is obviously this YouTube channel. Now, I started this YouTube channel at the start of the pandemic. I did start it as a podcast. So what I was doing was I was just talking about my DJ experiences, literally like this. And then I was recording it and, and chucking it on YouTube. And then I had an idea to kind of start making some DJ tips, like how to get bookings and how to do this and how to do that. But I didn't want to show my face because I was really nervous so I started doing like videos where just words would pop up like I talk like this to the microphone but I wouldn't have the camera I talk like this to the microphone and then on my editing software I'll just like write words on the screen to match what I was saying and then it got to a point I was like that's actually long and I need to show my face so I started doing a few videos and some of them were cringy as hell <laughs> but I think when you start a YouTube channel you have to start with them bad videos to get good but for the first year and a half I wasn't making any money on this channel so in order to start making money on YouTube, you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, I hit the 1,000 subscribers with ease, but the 4,000 hours of watch time oh my god like 4,000 hours of watch time i don't think you lot realize how much that is like now on my youtube channel i'm getting 4,000 watch time hours in 28 days but it literally took me like a year and a half to get 4,000 hours and it was a struggle it was a struggle people and i do understand now why people give up with youtube because you'll put all this effort into making a video like you'll sit down in front of a camera the the recording bit the bit i'm doing right now is really easy it's the editing part the editing part takes the longest like for a video like this this video is going to be around about 20 minutes 25 minutes for a video like this it will probably take me about either two three days or if i sat down fully and done it probably take me about seven eight hours so yeah like, and imagine you edit a video for seven eight hours you upload it and you get no views i understand why people get disheartened but what you do on youtube is you put out content you figure out your audience and then you start making videos for your audience and then next thing you know the views will come in the subscribers will come in and then you'll hit that four thousand watch time hours so when when I hit that 4,000 watch time hours, I became monetized. Like obviously I was just making like 20p a day, 30p a day, and now it's increased and I'm making a good bit of money on YouTube. I'm not making loads like all these other YouTubers, but I'm making enough money and it's only gonna grow over time that when I'm doing these videos. So the way I make money on YouTube is through YouTube AdSense. So basically, you know the little ad that pops up at the start of your video, in between and at the end, and all the little, um, the banners and stuff that are all around the screen right now, that's how I make money, literally. So basically you lot clicking on this video, I get a little bit of money from the ads that you just watched. And another way that I can make money on YouTube is through people gifting me money on live streams. So I try and go live at least like twice a month and people come on there and if they appreciate the content that I'm making or that they appreciate the advice I'm giving, they'll slip me a five pound, 10 pound. It's happened before, it hasn't happened that much, but it's happened before. And obviously the more live streams I do, the more money I can kind of make if people gift it to me. So yeah, YouTube is another source of income that I have as a DJ. My next source of income is off of YouTube. So during me creating my YouTube channel, I created a store. So basically this store is where I will sell sound effects, I'll sell playlists, I'll sell mashups and stuff like that. And I didn't realize that this store could be so powerful. It's crazy. Like the store makes more money than my YouTube channel a month because people come to my YouTube channel and they then go to the store and then they purchase whatever i put on there so the main thing that i sell on that store are playlists so say for example you're a brand new dj and you are trying to build your music library and you need a folder of r&b what i have on my store is playlists that i sell to you they're, they're not mp3s they're csv files so basically it has a list of tracks that i have in my r&b folder and that i play in my sets so you can buy this csv file and then you can use this csv file to go to the record pools and download all that music then you can start building your music library that way i would love to sell the mp3s people but i will literally get in so much trouble so i had to find an alternative way 
to kind of help DJs and it's worked. Like I've made a fair bit of money on the store and what I'm gonna do over the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months is start creating other things that I can put on a store. I wanna start doing DJ tutorials, I wanna start doing courses and stuff like that. So it's only gonna grow. So yeah, that's another way I make income as a DJ. Another way that I make money as a DJ is through affiliate marketing. So that's mainly on YouTube as well. So say for example, in the description of this video, you're gonna see a link going to Amazon. So if you click on that link and then buy that product, I'll get a percentage from that because basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a link in my video which will draw people to Amazon. Amazon will appreciate that and then give me money for bringing you to Amazon and spending money kind of thing. And also I have an affiliate code with Heavy Hits. So if you use the code DJCB in the checkout when you sign up to Heavy Hits, you'll get your first month for $4.99 and I'll get a little kickback from that as well. So affiliate marketing is really good. All YouTubers do it. Like you might start working with a company and then they say, oh, do you know what? Use this discount code and then you'll get people to sign up through us and then we'll give you a little bit of money for that. So that's just another income stream that I make as a DJ. Another way that I make some income as a DJ is creating videos for companies. Now I've done multiple videos for different companies which are on their YouTube channels and on my channel as well. So there's two types of videos. So a company might come out to me and say, oh, can you do a video on this feature of our software or our hardware or something like that? They'll give me access to the software, then I'll do a video for it and then they'll give me some money for that as well. And then it's also I do videos for a YouTube channel as well where literally I make a video for them I then send it to them and they put it on their YouTube channel and then they pay me for that so that's just another way that I've managed to make some income as well and it's all from this YouTube channel because basically these companies have seen that I can create videos I can create fairly decent videos so they want me to help them with their video editing process because they probably don't have enough time to do it themselves so they'll pass it on to me they know that I can make videos and I can make videos quite quick so yeah they'll reach out to me and get me to make their videos for them so hopefully other companies will reach out to me I can do more videos for them and then I can start to build the money that comes from this income stream. Another way that I make money as a DJ, and before I say this, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take this as financial advice. Before you do any of this kind of stuff, make sure you do your own research or due diligence, all that kind of stuff. But another way that I make money as a DJ is through stocks and investing. So the way I literally make money is I do um, dividend investing. So what you'll do is you'll invest your money into a company. Then every like three, four months, they'll give you a dividend back. So basically they'll give you like a percentage of the money that you've invested in and give it to you back. So, and then what that will do is you'll get that money back, you'll reinvest it into the company and then next time you get a payment, it will give you more and more money. Or what you can do is you don't have to reinvest it. You can just get that money and you can get it into your account and you can use it. So that's just another quick way that I can make some income. Um, because obviously I know a lot of DJs will go out and spend their money on designer clothes or DJ equipment. Don't get me wrong. I've spent stupid amounts of money on DJ equipment. I'm actually planning on doing a video of me going through this room and pricing up everything that I've bought in this room. So if you want that video, type yes in the comments down below. So yeah, so instead of spending my money on pointless stuff, I invest it into the stock market because the stock market, obviously it goes up and goes down, but over time it naturally just does kind of go up. So if you put your money in, you can make some money. You can lose some money, don't get me wrong, but in my experience at the moment and through my low risk investing, I've made a bit of money. So that's another stream of income that I make as a DJ. Another way I make money as a DJ, another income stream is through video sponsorship so it's similar to what I said before about companies reaching out to me and wanting me to do videos for them but what this is is a company will come to me and they'll give me a one-time fee that I can't disclose and they'll say can you make a video on this feature this this product and then post it on your YouTube channel because basically what that's doing is they give me money to help promote their product but what I want you lot to realize is I will only do sponsored posts and promote products that I believe in I'm not just going to have a company say to me oh we'll pay you x amount of money put this on your channel i'm not doing that because i'm not doing this for money i'm doing this to help out dj so if it's a service a product a bit of hardware that i believe in and i feel that it will help this channel and help you guys then i'll promote it but if it's going to be something pointless and rubbish i'm not just going to do it for the money because i'm not here to make loads and loads of money and just benefit this from this this youtube channel was built to help other djs because when i first started i didn't have anyone like myself kind of helping me out I had no one telling me what music you need for a warm-up or how to be successful as a DJ or what you need to do to get into the right do you know what I mean so I built this channel purely to help brand new DJs so the money side of it I'm not fussed about so I'm not just going to take a random sponsorship just to make some money so that was me going through all my income streams as a DJ now that you've watched this video check this video out here to continue the series and continue watching my videos I'll catch you in the next one